Howdy, Junior Rangers. Welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show. I want you to think about your home. What makes it a safe place for you to live? Do you got it? Well, did you know that all plants and animals on Earth need safe homes just like you? And the special places that plants and animals make their home is called habitat. And that's what we're going to learn about today. So pack your bags and come along for another very exciting adventure as we learn how habitats make a home. Did you ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. You get your hiking boots and a walking stick. Come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with it's the Ranger's Act Show. There are many different types of habitats that can be found throughout the world, like mountains, forests, deserts, and grasslands. And obviously, each one is special and different. So what makes a habitat, well, a habitat? Well, for a habitat to make a good home, it needs four special ingredients. Food, water, cover, and space. You can think of a habitat like a community. And in this community, there are many different plants and animals all living together, and they depend on one another for their survival. This is because every living thing has to eat. So for a habitat to be a home, you need plenty of food for all the plants and animals that live there. Some animals eat plants, some eat bugs, and some eat, well, other animals. And this relationship creates what we call a food web. Every food web starts with the sun. And this is because plants use the sun to make their own food. Now there are animals out there that only eat plants like deer, gophers, and rabbits. When an animal only eats plants, they're given a special name, herbivores. Do you remember when I told you that some animals eat only meat? These animals are called carnivores. Birds of prey, snakes, sharks, and mountain lions are all carnivores, and they eat meat. Check out these teeth. These belong to a mountain lion. These sharp teeth help a mountain lion catch and eat their prey. Chomp, 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 chomp. Habitats are home to animals that aren't picky eaters either. These animals eat both plants and other animals. They're called omnivores. Omnivores include bears, squirrels, and even coyotes, too. Habitats are also home to decomposers like insects, fungi, and bacteria. And they feed on decaying organic matter, like dead plants and animals and even poop. But just look how many decomposers have made this old log their habitat. The next thing that we need to make a habitat a home is water. All plants and animals need water to live, and some habitats are lucky enough to be full of it, like lakes, rivers, swamps, or ponds, like this one, where this western toad has made its home.
But some habitats don't have a lot of water. Can you think of one? That's right, the desert. So the plants and animals that live in desert environments have developed special abilities to help them live there. Do you remember what these abilities are called? That's right, adaptations. Are you ready for your Rangers Act fun fact? Yeah! Well, here it is. This is a stink bug, and it's well known for being able to make a stinky smell just like a skunk. But it also has a clever adaptation for gathering water. It'll stand on its head and collect dew on its back, which then drips down to its mouth, giving them a refreshing drink. Now the third thing that a habitat needs to make a good home is cover. Cover can be made out of living things like trees and leaves and grass, or non-living things like dirt and rocks and cliffs. But no matter what it's made out of, cover all does the same thing. It provides the materials that animals need to make their homes. The wood rat behind me has used the cover in its habitat to build a nest. Let's see if anyone's home. Cover also provides hiding places for herbivores to hide from carnivores. But carnivores can use cover to sneak up on their prey until they're ready to pounce. Let's have a look and see how other animals are using the cover in their habitat. The last thing that we need to make a habitat a home is space. Space means that the habitat is large enough for a plant or animal to survive. Think of an insect. They may only need a tiny place to live to find all that they need to survive. Compare that to a bear or a mountain lion, and they need a lot more space to hunt, find a mate, and raise their babies. Look at all this space. Habitats don't just need space for animals either. Plants need space to grow as well, and some plants need a lot more space than others, like this oak tree that likes to spread out and stretch. Today, we learned that for a habitat to be a home, it needs food, water, cover and space. Let's head back to my habitat and wrap things up.
Hi Junior Rangers, welcome back to my habitat, the Ranger Station. Now before we say goodbye, let's welcome back your friend and mine, Pearl the Squirrel. <laughs> Hi Pearl, do you want to do the Ranger Roundup with me? Well okay, let's do it. This week's Ranger Roundup question was sent in by Liv. Hi Rangers, I, I have a question for you. Why does the ocean make waves? Well Liv, that is a very righteous question. But it's actually not oceans that make waves, it's wind. That's right. Waves are created when wind blows across the surface of the ocean, creating energy. When that energy hits a shallow coastline, it creates a wave and begins to break. This makes a killer tube that we can hang ten in, brah! Well, I hope that answers your question. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to find a habitat near your home and find one plant and one animal that makes its home there. Take a picture of the habitat and share it with me at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram. And you can be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And don't you forget, Junior Rangers, new episodes of the Ranger Zach Show come out every Monday. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our exciting adventures. So until next time, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door. So get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach and Pearl the Squirrel, over and out.